Well, hello, friends. Welcome to my cat sitting gig here. Um, today, I thought I could read an email that I got, which is very nice. So uh, it's from Brian, who writes, Hey, I'm a 17-year-old programmer from England. For the past two years, I've been taking a large focus on operating systems. Up until 2021, I was writing real mode assembly and using BIOS interrupts to get stuff done. But since the beginning of 2021, I've been doing a lot of OS development in C. No one told me how hard writing an actual disk driver was going to be. Uh, and up until now, I was living in the world of 13, uh, of int 13 H. Uh, I would like to say a big thank you. Serenity OS was one of the first operating systems I compiled, which really sparked an interest in OS development. And it has also taught me so much about how operating systems are structured and work. Maybe one day I'll send you a follow-up email showcasing an actual working kernel rather than the lump of rock, which is my research slash learning C kernel. So thank you very much, Brian, for, for writing. Uh, I love hearing from people uh, who are getting into programming, getting into systems development, and uh, it's just, it's so cool to me that Serenity is one of the first operating systems that you compiled because I remember being 17 and um, the first systems I compiled, like um, these tiny things, like there was a, uh, this one called Gaz OS, which was uh, this tiny little system made by someone named Gareth Owen. And um, it had its own little file system and you would compile it and put it on a floppy. And it didn't do much. It had like a tiny little shell, a little keyboard driver and, um, but I remember messing with the source code, changing things around and, and figuring out how it worked uh, when I was a teenager. And it was really, really cool that, um, that an operating system was a thing that I could download from the web and compile and, and more or less understand sort of what was going on. And um, the idea that, that Serenity can be that project for people or that that lump of source code that they can download and learn about operating systems uh, when they're when they're coming into the um, the field. I think that's really awesome. And um, it's funny that you mentioned that uh, you've been writing real mode assembly up to this point because uh, I was very much like that too when I was a teenager and I first learned assembly that. I kind of stuck to 16-bit mode assembly for a long time, um, and I was a little bit intimidated by 32-bit uh, code. I don't know why. I guess I, I just had this way of thinking that, oh, you know, you can do so much with 16-bit and BIOS calls, and look at all these cool things I can do with uh, int 10H, right? Uh, but at some point, I realized that I was kind of, it's kind of, holding myself back for no reason with insisting on sticking to 16-bit. And uh, then I expanded into 32-bit and uh, learned about protected mode and things like that. And it was really rewarding. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're making progress on, uh, you know, expanding your horizons. And yeah, writing a hard disk driver is tricky, uh, especially if you... because Using BIOS interrupts is essentially like it's using a framework, right? It's just a very low level framework, but you're you're essentially calling an API asking it to, hey, can you read this sector from the disk for me, right? And actually talking to a hard disk drive and doing all the right um, command sequences and um, setting up DMA and things like that. That's it's definitely a lot trickier, but it is very fun when it starts working. So, um, it's uh, it just it makes me so happy that um, that young people who get into programming still uh, get into these low level areas because um, it's certainly not how programming is advertised to anybody these days. Like um, I feel like the way programming is advertised is so web centric, right? It's always like oh, learn to make this and that web app or this and that. Um, mobile app, right? But even so, um, young people still find their way to these low level topics like, uh, like operating systems and emulation and, um, you know, games and things like that. 
just because of that drive, that curiosity that we all share. And uh, it, I don't know, it makes me, <laughs> makes me feel really happy to, to hear from people who are on that path. Um, and um, I think, I think you're going to do, you're going to do well, Brian, just uh, keep at it, you know, and don't get discouraged by the obstacles, um, because there are many obstacles in low level programming and operating systems development, obviously, because um, there's much less uh, information and way fewer people have gone before you. But you know, a, a fair amount of people have gone before you. So you can, there are resources, but they're more scarce than if you wanted to make a cool blog, right? So, um, but I look forward to seeing your actual working kernel someday. So let me know when you have one. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to, to share this email with you because uh, it made me very happy. So thank you, Brian, for writing and thank you everybody for, for tuning in and, and listening to me um, doing this. And uh, there's a cat here. This is my friend, Kiara. Um, she is peanut colored, I would say. Very friendly cat. And uh, it's my task today to babysit Kiara. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so anyway, I guess I'll see you next time. Let's wave goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>